What's up guys, SS Joe here. Just want to give you a quick review of the latest 1-6 scale by Hot Toys. The Black Widow from the Avengers. Let's check out the box real quick. Real nice, just a simple picture of her. And you get the shiny Avengers lettering. The box is all smooth except for a tiny bit on the lettering there. Besides, you know, you get the Black Widow emblem there. The back is completely plain, except for the usual credits. You get the emblem there, a little bit of the picture continues there. So, I like these boxes. They're really simple. It's got a picture of the real actor on the front. They're nice, and they all have the same theme pretty much. And then on the tops and bottom, you get their name. So, the inside, just a clamshell, and that's it. Alright dudes, let's check out the accessories she comes with. So, you can see there, she comes with the typical Hot Toys stand with the name on it. Comes with the instructions. Comes two sets of these gauntlets. She comes wearing these which you can see here they're just all black and the other set the only difference with them is the blue on them like in the movie they light up I forget the actual purpose or function of these things they look pretty cool just a difference in paint is pretty much it uh, she also comes with two of these little detonation devices that she flings I don't remember if they're bombs or light flash or something they're pretty much just black plastic pieces a little bit of detail a little bit of blue there that's about it so you get two of those which will stay in the box you can lose these things they're really tiny and you get two pistols which are nice they're not weathered or anything I don't think they're supposed to be but they have some pretty decent detail in them you can see right there so you get two of these like she had in the movie and of course you can pull out the clip and you can see right there the little bullet so the magazine slides in nicely and of course it does have it is spring loaded so you get that cocking action going there all right so you get two of those so that's pretty neat not a whole ton of accessories you get the two extra hand pegs and you do get two pairs of fists and the only difference in the and the fists are, let me show you real quick. Technically, you're supposed to use these with the blue gauntlets. So, these are supposed to look like they're lit up or something like that. Pretty decent detail. Nothing special. Still nice, though. And then the ones on the right are obviously the normal fist. So, you get those fists. So you get what, two, four, six, eight hands all together. You get the pair of hands that are the trigger fingers with the trigger fingers. Nice detail on the fingernails there. You can clearly see that they did put fingernails on her, which is kind of cool. Paint apps are nice. And then the other two hands, they're not necessarily trigger fingers, but... Let me show you real quick. That's the other. They're both right hands. So, pretty cool. So that's it for accessory guys. And of course you get the instructions. Not that you really need them for a figure like this. But, cool to get. Alright guys, so let's take a closer look at her. To be honest with you, I love the Avengers. I love all the figures they've been putting out so far, so she was a must. I want to get them all. It just, the movie kicked ass. 
it's they did a phenomenal job with this figure they captured her likeness so well I mean for me it's a 99 I mean nothing is perfect so but this just the lips those are Scarlett Johansson's lips her nose her eyes the it, the only thing was I read in the instructions it does have actual hair product in it so the hair was a little flat because it comes with the plastic tie or whatever piece around it but it, it's manageable I've just pluck it a little or move it with your fingers and it's fine but I definitely think they did a phenomenal job with this figure it's just it's beautiful I mean it's it's the closest thing to the actress that I've ever seen it just they did a phenomenal job look at that from the side it's just awesome this figure the outfit I am really really impressed with this outfit it's supposed to look like leather it's obviously full leather but I was scared that it would stretch when you're posing like her arms or her legs doing the articulation but the material is so nice it doesn't wrinkle and it just goes right back to its original form which I'm really impressed with so you can get some pretty wicked poses out of her without having to worry about messing up the outfit or anything like that but just from head to toe they did a really really great job I wasn't too crazy about the first version of her from Iron Man 2 because the hair just looked it was too Barbie-ish I mean I know this is still technically a fucking Barbie doll but she's very vital to the movie I had to have this character but the emblems are spot on the zippers her accessories you pretty much got everything you need and I'm sorry guys I forgot to show you one accessory and I'll show it to you in a bit it's that spear or staff that she took from one of the the aliens so let me give you a quick look at it I'm definitely happy with it compared to that piece that uh, came with our Captain America one so here's the spear or staff whatever it is you can see they did a nice job on the paint apps it's nothing super crazy but it's nice I'm glad they threw it in I doubt anyone's really gonna use this thing but it's neat it's a light plastic it's pretty big though you can see comparing it to her it's it's actually almost the exact height of her you can see right there so that's it for this piece it's pretty neat I'm definitely glad that they threw it in I like it so but it'll probably stay in the box Pretty neat little paint apps here and there. So, sorry I forgot to show you that, guys, at the beginning. But that's definitely it for accessories. So, you can see she comes with the little holsters for the guns. She's got nicely sculpted boots. They You don't get any ankle articulation. But they do have some pretty neat detail in them got the little buckles that are sculpted kind of look like a female version I guess of Captain America's boots so the stitching the cut and sew on this outfit is just it's amazing it's pretty sick what they could do those little straps right there they're real material the buckles are nice plastic buckles the only thing is right above that buckle that part is sculpted so the straps let me stop this thing real quick so I could show you guys all right so right here the strap is real then that 
upper piece right there where it splits into two that's actually sculpted plastic part and the straps all around the legs are real the real material real straps but the stitching I'm just really impressed with the with this suit that they gave her I'll try and get real close so that you could see the fine little details in there but the stitching is just awesome really great job hot toys put the little details this you can feel it a little bit but it's really cool detailing you could just see those tiny little dots in the suit really neat really great attention to detail you got those fine little lines right there and it continues all the way up the suit it's like a light kind of baby bluish color the zipper you got the buckles got cool little details on the belt there the buckle is plastic but up here you could get a little bit better look at the little fine details in the suit that they put in it's a really nice smooth material it feels like faux leather obviously the zipper the zipper is functional I mean I'm not gonna all right that's about as far as I'm gonna go it does go all the way down she's got all full rubber body from the neck to the waist I'm not sure about the arms I'm not gonna take her outfit off if you choose to be kinky and do so then you do so the emblem on the arm came out awesome looks great the hair I just I really am impressed with how they could get these tiny little curls in like that it's pretty neat it looks like she did in the movie but most of all, I'm impressed with this head sculpt. They did a beautiful job capturing her likeness. Those lips, that's definitely Scarlett Johansson's lips, her nose, eyes. You can see those tiny little freckles going on. They kind of got her little mole right there, right where that tip of that hair is. Look at the beautiful paint apps on the eyes. You can see the little veins, little eyelashes. Just really impressed. This is a beautiful figure, beautiful head sculpt that they did. Definitely happy to have this. It looks great with the other figures. Now this came out almost a fucking month ago. Overseas. This I got on Monday, I believe. Sideshow finally shipped it out. I saw that they shipped out my uh, Joker 2.0 and Thor, so I'll review them next week. So I'm going to keep these blue gauntlets on. Just looks a little cooler. Let's see, any more? She doesn't have a whole ton of detail on her. I mean, it's just a black leather suit, but it is nice. Now, I noticed when I tried to move the hair, since it is real hair product, you can see right there she's got a little bit of dandruff so it does flake because it it's real hairspray in there but she looks cool with her guns and let me get you some detail on the boots here so you can see right there just sculpted buckles there some nice big heels I guess on female shoes there's the front of it. Like Captain America, this this part here is kind of soft. Got a nice zipper going down in the middle. They're nice and clean. They're not weathered or anything. But, all right, give me a second and I'll show you just a little bit of articulation that she's got. All right. I just want to show you how cool this the outfit is the material you can get really good articulation different poses down and it does stretch nicely see it doesn't tear or anything and it just goes right back in the legs I feel like fucking show long here uh, I mean I'm not gonna stretch it too far out 
but you see it's it's just very pliable and it just goes right back into place that's some great articulation on this thing the only problem I can see people bitching about the knees maybe like that piece but I wouldn't be posing her too crazy anyways so you can see how stretchy this stuff is you know what it kind of reminds you of a wetsuit that's exactly what this reminds me of so you can get some pretty cool moves out of her and the head obviously turns real nicely I wouldn't touch the hair too much it is kind of greasy all right let me show you some size comparisons for a quick size comparison I got her standing here with the guys that we got so far so you got Nikki Fury there you got the new Hawkeye the Captain America like I said this week should be getting Thor and all we're missing is what the Hulk the Iron Man Loki and that should be it unless you're gonna get uh, what's his name in the suit but here she is and you can see she, she stands pretty well without the stand you got one foot kind of in the air there and she's in pretty good uh, scale there compared to the dudes they look pretty cool together I can't wait to get the new Thor and all the other new ones it should look it should make for a pretty cool display once they're all out really psyched for this been wanting this bad this Hawkeye if you guys missed out on him you're crazy it's just a sick sick figure they're all sick the Nick Fury I love all of them but definitely looks cool even with this Iron Man so you can see she's about maybe an inch and a half shorter so they did a pretty good size for her in scale give me a second and I'll grab Sarah Connor to put a the other female figure next to her alright so put up another female figure Sarah Connor which love my Terminators so if you have her you get pretty much of an idea pretty much the same thing just different head and the arms look like the same thickness and it's pretty much it obviously the tits she's got big tits but but they're both on the stands and they look pretty much the same exact height to me so that's that well guys I can honestly say I am 100% satisfied with this thing Hot Toys is knocking it out of the park with these Avengers figures the movie kicked ass and I'm just happy stoked to have this figure can't wait for the rest of them just look at that head sculpt they did a beautiful beautiful job with this and she's definitely going to be worth money later on if you guys get it as an investment just from head to toe it's spot on they did a beautiful job with the cut and so i can't recommend it enough if you guys want to complete the whole avengers line she's definitely a must and definitely happy with her so get her now before you're gonna regret it later that Hawkeye is a bitch to get now so I'll leave you with a couple of different poses and I'll catch you guys on the Thor review latest SS out